Welcome to Getting Started with Atlas, the professional media player made by Archimedia Technology. Let's start with the player window. Here are your transport controls. Try slow motion and listen to your audio. Click these buttons a couple of times to change speed, forward and backward. Try scrubbing with this playhead and click here and here to set mark in and mark out points. Click here to play in loop mode. The time window here shows your choice of embedded timecode, frame number, runtime, or Atlas's unique control track timecode. The next layer of tools is just a right click away. If you have only one screen available, you can enable these overlays and easily switch between desktop mode and full screen mode with keyboard shortcuts. You can open video files normally from your File Explorer window. To set a video format to always open in Atlas, right click and choose Open with Atlas. Now let's look at the Captions and Subtitles viewer. Open it here, choose a Titles track, and try double clicking on a title to skip right to it. Atlas supports any language installed in your Windows operating system. Most professional workspaces today don't have convenient access to waveform monitors and vector scopes, and many jobs aren't about SDI anyway. So Atlas includes a vector scope and a video measurement tool that resembles an analog or SDI waveform monitor. Right-click if you want them to stay on top of the player window, put them where you want them, and switch between horizontal parade and vertical parade with a flick of the mouse. Multi-channel audio can be a challenge on a computer or a television with stereo speakers. I'll add in an external music track and a voice track. To make it easy to hear them, they don't match this video. The voice track is badly distorted, so I'll mute it. The music track makes it hard to hear the dialogue, so I'll mute that too. Audio meters can't tell me everything about how the primary stereo mix compares to the 5.1 mix, so I'll mute the 5.1 tracks and listen to my television stereo speakers or my headphones. Now I'll mute the stereo mix and listen to the 5.1 mix. If I suspect some tracks aren't mapped correctly, I'll reroute them and see if that explains what I'm hearing. Audio Sync sometimes needs a special focus. When I saw that gun go off, I paused the video, clicked here to mark out, used my arrow keys to back up a little, clicked here to mark in, and clicked here to listen in slow motion while keeping an eye on the audio meters. Aha! That gunshot sounded two frames before the gun fired. Later, we'll see where to enter an audio delay, plus or minus, so I can check further in this video to see if the audio drifted or remains two frames early throughout. There's more to media files than what we can see and hear, so right click and read the file properties. Here's a timestamp because you may want to export this metadata to a text or XML file for email or for your database. Here's the computer I'm using, here's the file name and path, and here are the video attributes. You can also copy and paste into email or your report forms. Here's the metadata for all the embedded audio tracks, and you can see that they're embedded in the same file as the video because it's the same file name in the same folder path. Here's the metadata for all the external audio tracks I'm listening to right now, including their file names and their different folder paths. Here's the metadata for all the embedded titles and all the external ones, including their file names and their different folder paths. Here are all the embedded time codes plus the Atlas control track timecode for comparison. Please don't forget that Atlas comes with personal tech support. From the whole Archimedia team, thanks for watching this Getting Started video. If you don't have your own Atlas and want to try it out on your computer, please call or write to info at archimediatech.com.